This week on The Real Deal, well first up, you've probably noticed it's a Saturday and not a Friday. The Real Deal for the last five years always goes out on a Friday, but what I recorded yesterday was completely out of date by the time I was ready to hit send. So I'm redoing it now after doing my inspections this morning and I'm sitting on my back deck enjoying the breezes and of course spending a lot of time at home like you should be doing as well unless you're wanting to buy one of my properties and you're wanting to see it. So let's talk a little bit about the week that was. Well there was a lot of proposals that were going to be put forward by the Labor government under Trade and under the Minister of Housing Mick Debrenny. Fortunately I'm very relieved to note that the Labor government have adopted a much more neutral approach, a much more balanced approach, um, not just favouring tenants, protecting tenants certainly, but also allowing the landlord to have some rights, which is definitely beneficial also to landlords and will protect uh, the investment portfolios of many mum and dad investors and retiree investors and people that invest in property for their future. So this is very, very good news. Not such good news for buyers because it means there's not going to be a lot of distressed investors dumping their stock on the market. Okay, we're not going to be seeing that. So if you were hoping that was going to happen, I met some buyers today and they were hoping that the market was going to crash. It ain't going to crash, I don't think, in Queensland because I think the banks are providing supports and I know that now that these um, policies will be put in place, it will give us a lot more confidence moving forward. It is a virus, it will pass, it will eventually go. Okay, yes, it's doing damage, yes, it's causing frustration and confusion and we're having to do things differently. I tell you where it's really causing damage to the real estate industry, it's volumes are down, okay? So it's particularly difficult if you're a real estate agent because we ain't got a lot of stock at the moment to sell, all right? We're not running with lots of listings. What we've got was probably pre-COVID. They wouldn't have put it on the market if they'd known that the shutdown was gonna happen um, and if we weren't allowed to do open homes. So this is all the people that decided to sell months and months ago that are on the market at the moment, that spent all that money getting the house ready. That's what's currently available. Is there any new stuff coming on? Not a lot, not a lot at all. So if you're thinking of coming on the market, now's really not such a bad time because they're buyers that are sitting at home, that are online, that are looking. So the search um, engines have been going crazy. Okay, the major portals like realestate.com and Domain have reported definitely a massive increase in viewings, all right, and, and online sightings of properties. We're seeing people do virtual tours. We're, we're selling, we've always sold property sight unseen, so this is nothing new for us. Um, at one stage, I was selling a lot of property sight unseen because people were interstate and, and we would show them the properties with FaceTime or whatever, and they were happy to buy them. So it's business as usual, really. It's just that we don't have as much business going on because we don't have a lot of stock, all right? So not great if you're a buyer at the moment because you don't have a whole heap of choice and I don't think it's gonna get a whole lot better. Now, if you're thinking of selling, maybe now's not such a bad time. You know, people have got more time on their hands to look online. We are still allowed to show them the property. We haven't been banned from doing it. Tenants can't refuse entrance, okay? They, they'll make it difficult, but they can't blanket refuse now. And on top of that, um, your property will be seen more in isolation than in competition and we all know what isolation is. <laughs> We've had a lot of experience with that. So that's a little bit from me about volume. Volumes will be down. This is not the year that any of us real estate agents will be hitting targets, I don't think, because we're not gonna be selling as much stock as last year. I wish we would. We're also gonna see a lot of agencies close down perhaps um, if they've only focused on sales and they don't have big rent rolls to sustain them. And we may also see a lot of agents physically leaving the industry. In fact, there's one agency that um, got rid of 38 younger inexperienced agents on a salary, okay? It's a Brisbane-based agency that are an independent and they got rid of 38 agents in one hit. So it's very, very sad, but if you're dealing with an agent, chances are they know what they're doing and they may even have been there for the GFC and they're probably very, very skilled and can help you get your property sold at this time if you take their advice on board. So if you're looking for some advice, I'm here to help you, um, even as a sounding board. And the other thing is, if you're wanting us to look after your rental property, I can definitely do that too. So I'm here to help you, I'd love to help you, and let's talk soon.